Forgive me if I worship with my eyes and thus withhold the praises you should hear. My tongue would either tend to fulsome lies or babble on in ways that hurt the ear. I know this course eventually ruins my cause, for leering orbs provoke more fright, more, more fright than truth. But if you knew how beauty gives me pause, you'd see how least I'd mean to annoy. Instead, let me bring riot with my pen and flame a heart with words you'd call your own. For only in that stoking are you then prepared to leave your old world overthrown. Then give me leave to lease your heart from you. Then join to mine. We'll have much more than two. All right, uh, let me see. This one is, let me see if I have it on my thing. I have to keep my, my phone uh, charged. It's not easy, as you know. Okay, this is called, sorry. I was expecting to come a little later on the show. Uh, new Love Again. Away with despair, by to blackness. With every spring, springs the springtime of new hopes. New day, new sun, new season, new life has come upon the aging self, who quit the race just yesterday, wishing for the end to come suddenly, but never arrived this false mercy, denier of a better truth. Instead, keep waiting past the deep. And yet, and yet, and yet, and yet, greater sun, greater joy, greater life, prepares off stage, secure in purpose. How weird the change in fortunes to us, that we look the goodness in the mouth, and can accept the unexpected blessings without some shrill consternation about it all. But here there is more, a welcome truth, more happy love, more happy, happy love, a fulfillment of faith that matches the expected course, which faith must take to in fact be faith. But here is the faith best proven, not in some lush reward of hollow prosperity or in some quick satiation of an ancient wish, but in the real promise of a most moving sign, a strong manifestation of better days which are to be. And this sign, this soul, this terrible, tremendous truth is all revealed in one most simple and searing image, the sight of your face. Wow. And, wow. Thank you. And let me get one more here. Is another one? Let's see if I get this. Okay, thank you for your patience. Okay, this is another one in the vein. Thank you. Called Layla. I wish this poem never had to be, for I would trade a lifetime of artistry for a few furtive moments beside your grace and not in exile from the warmth of your face. I love that face in every turn and curve it takes. I love the delicate shape your profile makes like a forbidden joy from heaven unleashed on earth, which motivates men to veil such dazzling worth. I love the soft undulation of your lips and how the crease of your smile grips my spirit and makes me desperate to share your air. How I long to feel your balming breath everywhere. I love the vivid darkness of your flowing mane and how those hairs adorn you like a holy skein. But more than all is the glory of your golden eyes, how they pierce me, swallow me, and hypnotize to such extent I can believe in love again. I love you as the woman that you are, not as some spirit or abstraction or a star. I love you for your skin and sweat and smile. I love you while I have this time to while. I would kiss you forever if it could be so. I'd give thee everything to be with you and know that life is worth its heavy pains and rue. My dearest meaning is to find meaningfulness with you. Thank you all. Wow.